clients and friends welcome to a gab about some shoes the shoes that we are gabbing about today are my Louis Vuitton Gloria loafers um, I picked these up a couple of weeks ago when Massachusetts did its tax holiday where you could get um, any item up to a certain amount um, without tax and uh, I took that opportunity to pick these up because I'd had my eyes on them for a little while um, I'm doing this gab because it's just a gab and we love to gab about whatever so this is whatever and we're gabbing about it um, the second reason I'm doing it is that a couple of people actually either had purchased these and not worn them and wanted to know my impression were thinking about returning them or were actually interested in purchasing them and asked me to chat about them after I'd had a chance to wear them so that's the second reason I'm doing it um, I do know that not everybody thinks that shoes are a good luxury investment and I don't disagree with that like I wouldn't recommend somebody's very first luxury purchase be um, shoes unless you really felt compelled to do that um, I I wouldn't that's not what I did or how I constructed my luxury collection um, but I don't also think they're totally dismissible um, I do think they are a worthwhile way to spend money to the extent that any luxury items are a worthwhile way to spend money um, once you have a couple of bags they do kind of augment an outfit I'm a huge proponent of buying luxury versions of items that you actually can get use out of I know some people prefer to buy um, luxury items that are for special occasions, that's cool, but for my money, for my philosophy, my lifestyle, I prefer to buy the things that I will actually use in the luxury version just so I can infuse my life with comfort and luxury and all of that. So um, I do recommend buying luxury shoes, but I totally understand that you don't. The other reason I like to buy luxury shoes, this is really controversial potentially, so let me know your thoughts. Um, many years ago, somebody who I am no longer friends with and we were talking about whether people's um, bags were authentic or knockoffs or replicas, you know? And so the person said, well, you know, a lot of knockoffs and replicas are actually quite good and it can be difficult to know if somebody's um, handbag is a knockoff, but one sign is to look at the rest of the person's outfit starting with their shoes and the friend suggested that um, if a person had a handbag that was say Chanel or Gucci or Louis Vuitton or something like this but um, they were wearing some very tattered shoes that it was more likely than not that the handbag was a replica because who would go to the trouble of spending all that money on a bag and not have a nice pair of shoes. There are lots of reasons why that might not be accurate. I mean, luxury shoes wear as well, um, but you know, that's something that I always kind of keep in the back of my mind, like that, you know, luxury aesthetic and a luxury presentation is a whole vibe. Of course, there is a world, right? Like a whole huge spectrum that won't even fit on <laughs> this screen from tattered shoes to luxury shoes. It's not like you either have tattered shoes or you have luxury. But, you know, it is something to keep in mind that um, if the goal, if your goal is to have just a generally luxe, lush, plux outfit that um, it might be worthwhile to invest in at least a couple of pairs of very nice luxury shoes just to kind of match the rest of your outfit, right? So that it's not like Versace or Gucci belt and Louis Vuitton handbag and then you know some shoes that are falling apart so let me know your thoughts about that but let's talk about these shoes specifically I don't have a whole lot to say about them I love them so we'll get to the end first I love them and uh, I do recommend them if you like loafers they are a very classic loafer um, the bottom does have these little loafer nubs. Somebody asked me, do 
I feel them once the shoes are on? The answer is no. I think I fancied that I felt them the first time that I put them on, but absolutely you don't. They're all even sized and um, are lift your feet just the same amount off the ground. You know what I mean? So it's not like some are taller and shorter so that you would feel the ridges. Absolutely not. Um, totally smooth wear. They are canvas, coated canvas, of course. I just threw this back on the floor. Um, coated canvas. Um, inside is leather. They do have these little um, breathing holes here to let air out. Um, and they do have a leather um, bow here. The bow is not untieable. I don't know how you say that, but you can't untie it. So it is what it is. What that does mean is that this shoe does not stretch as much as some other shoes might anyway. Mine haven't because the boat is tied here. So even though it is a pretty unstructured shoe, like most loafers, and it kind of goes like that um, on the sides and at the back, right where the bow comes in, there's not a lot. So do you see what I mean? Like back here, they're stretching so if you have kind of a wider foot no big deal but where it ties nothing right so they if you have a wider foot especially um close to the toe box area consider that definitely try them on and make sure that you love them before you wear them out because of course you can't return them once you've worn them and uh this so far doesn't seem to give but that's basically um the size of the shoe it is kind of like a bow shoe style um so far i've been wearing them to work from home and they've been great um i can see my foot getting cold in them so i intend to wear very light wool sock you know like a socky kind of thing um as the temperature continues to drop but so far they are doing me well i just wake up in the morning put on my <laughs> Zoom meeting outfits and slip these on and I am good to go if I do need to run out of the house. I probably will wear them though. Um, to be completely honest, I'm not sure that I'll wear them a lot. I live in the city and everywhere I go is sidewalk and sidewalks are pretty hell on shoes. So even though I recommend buying um, luxury shoes, one of the drawbacks I know is that they do wear a little bit more quickly, especially because I only ever walk on sidewalks and asphalt and things like that. So would I wear them outside? Probably not, just to preserve them a little bit more. In more regular times, if I were going to work, these are exactly the kind of shoe that I would either carry in my bag and put on when I get to my office or just leave in my office like I do with um, some of my Gucci mules. Um, and just wear them around the office to office meetings and things like that. So yeah, that is the shoe. My feet don't sweat in them. I don't find that they trap heat. I do find that they are very true to size. I take a size 38 normally, unless the shoe is not true to size. This is true to size. It is a 38 and they are delightful and gorgeous. They feel luxurious. They feel great. They're just nice to wear and they add a little touch of luxury to um, any outfit. Uh, I wear a lot of black, you know, so this is exactly actually the kind of outfit that I would wear these with for a regular work from home day if I had some meetings or things like that. Um, or even if it were like a casual Friday and I was just running into work for a few hours, absolutely I would wear, you know, these tights, this, a shirt like this, probably a blazer though, and um, these shoes. So yeah, that's the go about these shoes. Let me know if you have any specific questions, um, but they're pretty straightforward. Um, I love the little gold detailing on here, which you can't see, and they do have Louis Vuitton inscribed in the gold there so you know it's just lovely it's a beautiful shoe so yeah that's the gab those are my thoughts about luxury shoes in general and uh the louis vuitton gloria loafers specifically i hope you enjoyed it let me know your thoughts take care and sit down peace